Good day, and welcome to OST and Cookies. In this show, I hope to examine and analyze what makes video game soundtracks good. For our first game, let's look at DreamWorks Interactive's The Lost World, Jurassic Park. The soundtrack to this game is one of Michael Giacchino's earliest and best works. The soundtrack to the Sony PlayStation game The Lost World Jurassic Park is remarkable. A score to a video game that actually has the drama and excitement of John Williams' original score. Few games had ever had such a carefully considered, memorable, and plain invigorating score as this, and it holds the excitement when separated from the film as well. A bold claim to make about any soundtrack let alone one for a video game. Perhaps the claim is not so brash. All my sources indicate that The Lost World features one of, if not the first, orchestral soundtrack in a video game. As the game was produced by Steven Spielberg himself, this is not very difficult to believe. Despite being short, the soundtrack for The Lost World Jurassic Park utilizes some of the same techniques that John Williams was proficient in namely, the use of particular themes for different characters or idea. Lost World Jurassic Park features five different themes corresponding to the five different characters that the player controls over the course of the game. Each theme is then treated in different ways as the character progresses through his or her own episode. Join with me now in a brief survey of the score through selected pieces from the soundtrack. For the first episode, that of the compi, let's take a look at the track Isle of Giants. It clearly states the theme of the compi. Additionally, Gacino modifies the theme to fit the particular level. Let's ask some important questions of this track. Does it fit the level, and is it good music? At this point in the game, the compi has already faced many predators of the island. Now he has to deal with the giant herbivores, the so-called giants. Upon entering the stage, the player can hear the impressive footsteps of the lumbering dinosaurs. The visual of the actual beings is echoed musically further on in the track. Here, Giacchino adds a little motif through the rhythm. The timorous copy ventures forth, the volume builds, and the brass instruments arpeggiate. In terms of tone, Isle of Giants paints the picture perfectly. In the beginning, we hear the tremulous steps of the compi into the forest. Soon, we are greeted by the forte, rhythmic footsteps of the Brachiosauri. Isle of Giants features a nice spread of brass and woodwind instruments, and makes good use of the orchestra available. Most of the other tracks in the OST make good use of the orchestra available to the composer. To save us from 10 minutes of me saying, this piece uses a large portion of the orchestra in its arrangement, I will say here that all subsequent tracks also do so. Getting back to Isle of Giants, the loop has a nice transition from restraint opening to the dramatic restatement of that theme. This track begins quietly, but quickly moves to dramatic broad strokes of sound. Owing to its use of tension and drama, and film score-like quality, this is one of my favorite tracks in the entire OST. The Human Hunter is now in a huge, spacious canyon. The sweeping, grand gestures of the music match the environment. Though the track begins subdued, it picks up strength as the hunter fights his way through the predator dinosaurs to the other side of the canyon. Like the Canyon Brigade, this piece uses a dramatic ostinato in the lower tones. The level in which Raptor Wasteland is played is called the Burn Zone, as certain areas of the ground are ablaze and will injure the raptor upon contact. The trees in the background are burnt and desolate. The level itself features toned-down grays and browns. Similarly, the music matches the environment. 
After the statement of the Raptors' theme, the tone switches to a mysterious one, with vocals and strings playing long, drawn-out notes. Other instruments join in, but the music stays fairly subdued. Base Camp Revenge is a very high energy piece in contrast to the last track we discussed. Not only is the T-Rex's theme highly dynamic, but it is presented in an illustrative manner. To begin, the strings play screechy notes, not unlike the famous shower scene in the movie Psycho. This invocation of horror is quite fitting, as the T-Rex is currently terrorizing and consuming the humans in the titular camp. Furthermore, there are dissonant piano arpeggios following those violin strokes. This is the final level for the T-Rex, so the music is suitably climatic. Again, several instruments play loud, sharp forte notes, emphasizing the elements of terror and fear that the fleeing humans are going through. This is it, the final level. Sarah Harding must face down two T-Rexes in the hold of the ship. In a reversal of the T-Rex stages, you are now the mere human and must fight for survival. The track San Diego reflects some of the drama of the T-Rex tracks, beginning with some tense percussion hits. However, the theme comes in strong afterwards. The melody is a sweeping dramatic one, fitting for the fight for survival that is occurring. Despite the circumstances, the theme is in a triumphant mood, prefiguring the player's success in defeating the two tyrant lizards. It ends triumphantly with strong sweeps by the orchestra and ringing bells. The soundtrack is an excellent work by Michael Giacchino. If I hadn't been prompted to pick a random game, I would never have discovered that my seemingly random Jurassic Park game had been scored by this composer. The score marks a major transition in video game music. Thanks to CD audio, video games were no longer limited to a few audio channels. Now, they could have powerful orchestration and a wider array of instrument sounds. While the game itself is a bit frustrating at times, I would still recommend that you at least give the soundtrack a good listen. This has been OST and Cookies. If you liked what you saw and heard, please be sure to give us a like and comment below. I am B Sharp Major General, and you are dismissed.